Welcome everyone to the inaugural episode of Old Ass Comics, the show where I take a look at some old ass comics and I talk about them. Uh, today I want to talk about a, uh, a pretty, pretty obscure one that I only found one copy of it on eBay and it was for $10 and it was signed. So I don't think a lot of people know about this in the modern day. Uh, it was only given out in schools as a special collector's item, you know, um, and in like South California. So yeah, it's not talked about. It's relatively obscure and I want to use this show to to highlight some comics that no one's really talking about or that I really like. Um, and I'm going to put it out already. I got more genuine fun from this comic that I did anything Marvel or DC is putting out these days. It's just a fun, humble story. Um, you know, yes, it was used to, to promote a moral, but it's very clear that the people who made this uh, cared deeply about that moral, you know. They, they cared about the work being presented, and the art is like really tight. Look at this. The, there was way too much effort being put in on the art for something like this. Just look at that. It's, it's adorable. Hey, look at this. You know? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just a one-off kind of, uh, it, you know, thing for schools, but it's, it's very humble and fun. Um, and that's, that's the thing. I've had more genuine fun from this than any new comic, because this, this has that 80s, 90s charm before they really went hard on using digital art and everything had to be hard-boiled and there weren't as there wasn't as much cute stuff coming out um, there there wasn't so much a focus on just kids entertainment now uh, everything I'm not gonna say everything because if you look hard enough you are going to find comics that you like you're going to find comics that are good and I don't even hate digital art that much it's just that the way Marvel and DC design their characters with digital art now, of course, there's so much talent being put into it, and that's great and everything, but it just doesn't appeal to me on a personal level. This appealed to me because, um, you know, it's inked out, it's done traditionally, and it looks very pretty. And this, this seems strange to me as someone who kind of prefers digital animation, but when it comes to comics, I just, I really like the um I really like the traditional style now there is some digitally drawn comics that I really like like uh, the bee and puppy cat comics and stuff like that but um there's always good stuff in any genre any medium but um I just find that the vast majority of digital comics do not appeal to me and they don't carry the same charm as uh, the traditional ones did and this is one of those relics this is one of those timepieces of the 80s, because you got to think about, like, back then, there was a lot more anthropomorphization, I don't know if that's a word, just a lot more anthropomorphic characters, you know, you had things like DuckTales, it was real popular, you had, um, you know, Disney was going strong with all their animal characters, uh, and then you had, um, you know, something like Heathcliff uh, by Deke Entertainment that was just kind of, you know, in there, kind of popular. Uh, terribly animated though, not a good show. Um, and uh, then you had little comics like this, all the stuff on the Sega Genesis, like you had, you know, Sonic after Sonic after, you know, Awesome Possum, of course that was the 90s. But you get what I'm saying, the 80s and 90s, they were very much about these animal characters. And this is uh, definitely a case of one of those. Combine that with the, you know, red, red and blue 3D, um, and the whole environmental message back when, you know, stuff about the environment was very much in the mainstream media. I don't think anyone really cares anymore besides, like, weirdos like me. Um, so, yeah, it's an environmental thing. It's got this, like, edgy kind of 3D thing going on that was new at the time. It's, you know, got the anthropomorphization. It's got, um, the traditional artwork. Um, and it was like put in schools. No one's gonna put a comic in schools anymore. This was like a unique thing at the time. No one's doing that anymore. So, 
Yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where it's such a time piece and such a time capsule that you just, I, I can't help myself but find it very charming. Um, uh, and like I said, that goes for the art too itself. It's not, it's not self-serious, it's not edgy, it's just a fine story for a small amount of time. It's just um, something you can read at the coffee table. Have a few laughs, because it is kind of funny. Um, you know, enjoy the artwork. Like, look, this is adorable right here. This, this is, I love this shot right there. It's really cute. Um, and just kind of enjoy yourself and look at, you know, uh, look at uh, Conserva Cat, because I think he is a a very fun to look at character. Like I, I love the the dichotomy between how cutesy and cartoony um, Conserva Cat is, and just how detailed the world is around him. I think uh, they blend together, but I don't know. I, I, I think that that kind of establishes him as this very um, unworldly kind of figure, and it's fun. You know, it's just a fun story. That's the point I got to make here. Is that it's not pandering to, to try and be overly preachy or overly moral. It's just having fun with what it is um, and enjoying itself. And uh, it's not the greatest thing ever, but at least it's fun. Um, and uh, that's, that's an old-ass comic that I just wanted to promote or wanted to mention because I don't think anyone has this anymore. Unless you go to like a Californian comic shop and get lucky, you are not going to find this. Um, it's, like I said, it's a, it's a special collector's item, only given out in schools. So, yeah, I, I have no idea where you can find this if you want to read it. I don't even know if there are scans of it online. Not, not really worth your time too much. It's just a humble piece if you're bored, you know, that's, that's the key, key phrasing here. Um, I want to talk about more comics soon, because I like comics, and this show will actually give me an excuse to read through some of my old comics, um, so, so that's, that's a good idea there. Uh, if you've read this story, talk about it in the comments, if you just think it's a bizarre thing, you know, give me your thoughts, uh, I'll see you all later.